So let now um, have an overview of the system parameters. So if you click on the system parameters, you can manage your countries and you can say which country is by default used by the system. You can do the same thing for the states and you see that you have already all the states from the US and Canada predefined, but you can add what if you want some uh, states perhaps for some other countries and you can say which country should be used by default by the system. Then you can manage the cities and the zip code. We have usually uh, very close to all the zip code in the US and Canada, but you can add some with the time you have always new one. And you can also say which city is the default city that the system needs to use. You can also define the local rooms. So if you have more than one room, even if you have one, you define here the room that you have and later you will be able to define the lockers inside of the room. You can define the default uh, note for the invoice, the default info of the, of the invoice. You can decide what is the date that we need to use for the invoice. And then you can define the default products uh, or service that we need to use for the non-members, for a guest, for an employee, and also the information that we need to print on the invoice that are mandatory. And then you can have the default for the system. So who is uh, the default customer? Uh, how do you want to manage the cash drawer? Um, do you want to use the automatic renewal and so forth? For the discount here, you can have one. Uh, what is the discount that is authorized uh, for the user, the employee? Over that, he needs to have a PIN um, confirmation from a supervisor. And you can also define the uh, discount for the employee. And that is for all the products. But uh, you will see that later you will be able to define uh, discounts by product group. Uh, that is the reason we have discussed the product groups in the video before. Um, and then you can also manage the percentage for uh, the payment on the membership. So the counters is used by e for soft in case of a counter is not correct, like the last uh, invoice number, the last customer number, etc. Product Prorata is used in France. Uh, for the people, uh, it's really specific to uh, Europe. And then you have the system default, uh, where you will be able to see where is located the database. Information comes from uh, the topfitness.ini that uh, you know. Um, then uh, access control, if for the one that has access control, you can define. You can have the general, you can say if you are to have a home page, uh, when you open e for members but uh, uh, currently nobody uses um, uh, you can ask for the printer parameters so that is not anymore used currently then you have uh, for the payment terms you have uh, basic information that you can put and you can also say uh, if the system needs to ask uh, to uh, repunch the password if uh, no transaction is done for like here uh, 15 minutes um, then you can define logos for different uh, documents and you can also say in which market you are of course currently you are uh, in the ski and uh, that's for the parameters system uh, that we have in the back office